hello welcome to the second tutorial video on solving critical thinking questions my name is Abraham Ofori and in this video I'll take you through how to solve a type of question like this in a type 2 way I say type 2 because in the first video that we did on solving this type of questions there was only two conditions now let's look at other conditions as well So the second type, you have a question like this. A four digit number is formed by using four of the seven digits one, three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so we are supposed to use any of these four um, seven digits to form a four digit number. So no digit can be used more than once in any one number so this is what you, you've been given that any of our numbers that we are supposed to form no digit um, can be used more than once so find how many different four digit numbers can be formed if the first one there are no restrictions so it means if you are just following all these sentence just only this sentence to here and there are no other restrictions the second one is there's another restriction saying that the number is less than 4000. The last this um, um sorry the last restriction is saying that the number is even and also less than 4000. So how do you go about it? Okay. Think about it small and then you continue. Okay, let's continue. Solution so the digits given are this one three up to nine okay it is not in order but it's one three four five seven eight and nine okay so the first step like we did in the first video we said we count the numbers and then the number of digits is what seven now the number should be of the form a b c d in this way i mean the four digit number should be of the form this I mean we can form a four digit number like one thousand three hundred and forty five one thousand four hundred and fifty seven one thousand three hundred and seventy eight any four digit number that you know so repetition is not allowed because in the main if you can see in the main question this is the main question up to here up to this side so we are just solving this raw like that so in doing so we said repetition is not allowed in the main question so here we check the different number numbers that can be at each of the four positions a b c d so that is any of the seven digits can assume the first position like we did in the first video and six different digits can assume the second position b since no repetition is allowed and likewise five digits can assume the third position c and also four digits can also assume or the last position d so this is very simple right so like i said how many number what are the different numbers we have seven we have six we have what five where is the five five and we have four and then at the end you multiply them okay so in other words like you want to know how many ways of arranging numbers at the position a and that will be seven because we have seven numbers to arrange them and in how many ways can you arrange the numbers here because after taking one you'll be left with six digits that can be arranged here six then we'll be reducing like that five four so 840 numbers can be formed from the first condition sorry for the first condition saying no rest restriction is um allowed or if there is there is no restriction so we are just following the question and there is no restriction so the second condition is the second uh, the first this um, second question gives us the first restriction saying that the number should be what less than four thousand so already we know that the number should be of the form a b c d but here any of the numbers should be less than four thousand hence the numbers that can assume the first position a are only one and three because here if i study the number with four four it will be very it will be, um, bigger than 4000 and then we go against that restriction 
we are restricted that all our numbers should be less than 4,000. So any of the numbers should be started with what one or three. And so then it means that we have only two digits that can be at the first position A. Okay, so we can arrange only two digits here. Now after selecting any of the two digits, so we, after selecting one from it from them, we are left with how many? We are left with six different digits to select so that they can be at a position B. Because we will select one from here and after selecting one of them, we can select six, we can select um, any number from these different digits at the position B. And then position C, we also assume any of the five because after selecting for B, we left with five digits, which we can select to uh, for position C. And after selecting for position C, we will left with how many digits? Four digits to select for position D. Hence, we have two times six times five times four, which is 240 different ways. So we have 240 different numbers that we can form, or 244 digit different numbers that we can form from this, which are less than what 4,000 pretty cool right okay let's continue so the last um, condition is that we said the form of any of the numbers should be ABCD and then here the numbers should be even and less than 4,000 so for any of the numbers to be less than 4,000 we already know that the number can only start with what either one or three and for the numbers to be even it can only end with either four or what, eight because every every even number okay in this world ends with an even number two four six eight and also zero okay so we have for these to be even uh, for any of the four digits or sorry for any of the four digit number to be even it has to be end with it has to be ended with what either four or eight because 4 and 8 are the only even numbers here. So this means that this means that the first position A can assume any of the two digits that is 1 or 3. So we can select from here. That's so it means we have two digits to select for the first position. The last position can take any of the two even digits. So we can select any two digits. Um, we can arrange two numbers at the last position B. And we can arrange two numbers at the first position A. So it means that we are done with the first position A and the last position B. Now, after selecting any number for the first and last position A, D, we will be left with how many numbers? So if I select one for the first position A, and also select one for the last position B, then I'll be left with how many? Five. So only five digits can be arranged at the position of B. And also, after taking one out of the five, we will be left with four digits to select from or arrange at the position C so hence we have 2 times 5 times 4 times 2 which is what 80 different ways so we have 80 different numbers that can be formed um, eight, eight, sorry 18 different 4 digit numbers that can be formed from these if the numbers should be less than 4000 and also even so this is the solution to the question and then Thank you and subscribe to my channel for more videos.